Life Street Stars, man. We in here with a goddamn celebrity, Marvo Jarvo. Hey, what's yeah. up? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, let's get into it, man. Boxer extraordinaire. Comedian extraordinaire. Yep. This nigga wearing Heart and Hustle. Shout out Jay Lon. That's my dog. Yeah, man, I had to put on a Heart and Hustle, man. He, he, he came directly to my house. Dropped it. I had this shit on for two days now, man. I like, yeah. I, I said, I ain't wearing this shit no more, fool. But I'm gonna promote the nigga, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. he came straight to me and he been fucking with me for a minute, so yeah. I had to go. Shout out, real nigga, man. Hey, let, let's 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 go all the way back, man. Let's go back, man. Cause uh, uh, before we get started, let me shout out my nigga Keith on the track. Keith on uh, the track, my bro. Uh, my my nigga Kendall, my bros. Yeah. My, my whole boxing team, all my nigga Earl Spence, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Just want to give a shout out. Yeah. What you finna say? Man, we're gonna take it back. We're gonna we're gonna touch on all of that. We're gonna let, let's take it back, man. Cause I feel like it's unfair for a nigga to be able to whoop your ass and make you laugh. Like, that's just too much for God. To, that's just a lot of talent for God to give you, man. So um let let's touch on it, man. Um at what age, um let's let's touch on all the things that you do. Cause I don't want to short you because I know you're a man of many talents. I I started out boxing uh at 15. Me, Earl Spence, Maurice Hooker. Adrian Taylor, we all pretty much started around the same time. We were like 15, 16 years old. I kind of left, you know, left the amateurs and stuff and started rapping. You know, started rapping. What was your rap name? I was uh, Marvelous Jarvis. Yeah, I was, I, I was Marvelous Jarvis. I started, I started rapping and stuff, and that's when I, I, I kind of hooked up with like, you know, the people from my side, which is like on uh, uh, Woodtown in, in that area. Yeah. So I started fucking with like uh, Trap Boy Freddie and them and stuff like that. And we were doing music. And I was like, uh, fuck the music shit, man. With the style that I got, nobody would really fuck with me in Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So I just said, you know what? I was always class clown, the funniest nigga in school. You know what I'm saying? Cut these phones off. Funniest nigga in school and shit. So I just said, you know what? I took that camera that I had and I was filming all them niggas in the hood music videos. I took the camera and I just got in front of that hoe and started doing comedy. So you was actually so 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 let's let's get it straight. You was in the trap with Freddie. He was boxing. S scared you in was the filming motherfucker. them niggas. <laughs> scared scared hey. in the motherfucker hey, too. Bro, yeah. shit, this shit happened to me. You ever been filming a music video and like like cluckers was really like they really like <laughs> like it's really going you know, down? The, mo like, the, the, the most scared the most scariest shit that I used to hate when I'm filming a video and niggas got guns aimed at them. Fuck it, nigga. I was like, say nigga, them hoes on them hoes loaded. Or what's what? The, what's the craziest gun you've seen? Uh, bro, I don't uh, even know. Bro, a nigga pulled, nigga had a briefcase and nigga had to like attach his shit. I was like, fam. Craziest gun, <laughs> craziest gun I done seen. I ain't know the name of it. I'm like, man, what the fuck is this nigga done pulled out? And he's just holding that hoe in the damn video, aiming that hoe at the, right in the lens right, and yeah. shit. That shit away from me, man. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's crazy, man. Um, so, so, okay, continue, man. Cause this is, so, but it, yeah, that, 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 that's pretty much it, man. And I just started doing the comedy stuff and then on Facebook, I started taking off on Facebook like right. crazy. Million views, two million views, three million views, five, six million. Me Why do you nigga. think it's easier to, to pop on Facebook than it is on YouTube? Because it's like YouTube everybody, can, everybody can share it. Like, Easy okay, okay, this guy, like let's say I tag him. He could tag three people. Right. And this nigga could tag three people. You tag four people. So it's easier, you know what I'm saying? But now they doing it to where they done changed a lot of rules on it. Like they done changed a lot of stuff up. It's harder now. And... Instagram, the same thing. It's easier. Anybody can tag this person. Anybody can tag that person. Right. But then on YouTube, that's when I just, this year is the year that I started popping off on YouTube. Right. Shit going up thousand fucking subscribers a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, now that's where it's hard at. That's why they pay so much more. Right. But that's where it's hard at. And, and I've been following your grind uh, recently. The, the one that got me, that, that sucked me in was when they uh, start having the sex bots out. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. The sex bots. Yeah. yeah. Bro, yeah. I was laughing hard as hell. Bro. Everybody did that skit too, but I said I'm gonna do my shit different. Yeah. My, my shit gonna be. I'm gonna take that bitch back to the store. That shit you know was saying? funny <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Hey. I, yeah. So let me ask you this, man: it, Is a nigga too freaky if he has a sex doll at the crib? Is that just too freaky for a nigga to have? Like, cause man, it's like it's yeah, taboo. It's hey. like a girl can have whatever they have. But if a female walked in and nigga had a sex box, she'd be looking at the nigga dead crazy. I don't even need a sex doll. Just give me the little ass part. Just give me the, just give, <laughs> just give me, just give me the ass part, bro. Just give me some, the, 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 the ass part right there. I imagine some shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you fuck. can't have no sick dog. Man, yeah. fuck that. I used to jack off every day, nigga. You give Maybe me. Not one thing, yeah. but having a sex dog, a sex dog, shit, nah. Hell nah. Give me a what sex you, dog. Give me what, all them hoes. Put some. What, what if you walked in your girl? What if you walked in a girl's crib and she had a sex male robot or whatever? It's but called. that's like 
Everything normal that for the girl. Everything, you know what I'm saying? That's what they do. Everything normal for the girl. I'm going to go push the robot out the way. Get your bitch ass out the way. A, you walk in a nigga house, he got that? Nah, that's going to fuck your head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be embarrassed like, like a bitch. Nah, One of the niggas walking. Oh, I ain't going to never hear the end of that shit. nigga walking in your house. And you accidentally left that motherfucker out. Right. Oh, man. Shit, nah. I'll be embarrassed. You gonna, they gonna hey. lie. You on camera and everything. <laughs> These niggas don't let you make it. So they gonna take pictures of the shit and post yeah, the shit. Like you gonna whatever. Buy, you gonna buy it for sure. Hey, I be I be hating when shit happened in front of this nigga. Like my, my like my girl. Oh, she he wanna, that nigga. Nah, like she never argued with me, bro. And to this nigga call the phone, she wanna say some old dumb ass shit. You left your fucking drawers on the phone, bitch. I'm like, I'm like, bro, that happened every I time. Said, I said, stop doing that shit in front of that nigga, bro. He tell a whole goddamn hood. You know, he from Holland Hills. Yeah. This nigga tell a whole goddamn hood. I'm like, damn. Nah, it never fail. Every yeah. time I call this nigga. Never like, fail. She just, matter of fact, she, know my voice. she just like, sent she a picture right of me in. not flushing the toilet. I like, I pissed in the toilet oh, and no, ran out the house. And spray from this shit. nigga. I'm like, I say, bro. I say, man, I was in a rush. Man, I forgot to flush this. <laughs> man. <laughs> she going ham on my bitch. I say, every time this nigga with me, fool, it's like she got a like a cold in her phone to see the time I'm leave with him, cuss this nigga out. Yeah. Like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now! One of the things Marvelous J is known for is having some baddies in these goddamn skits, man. Oh man, that, that, that is definitely making you stand all the way out, I man. I will not like, say anything to incriminate myself. Right We're we not gonna do that. But what we are gonna ask is, um, now you can ask me anything. Is it fuck? easier now, bro? That now that you got like, yeah. Uh, I mean, it seems like, bro, you just rolling them can, out now. I you can, yeah. I can, I can choose now. I can hit the baddest chicks up now, and they be like, yeah. And it's different. Really? Yeah. It's different because it's acting. Everybody wants to act. Facts you, though. You know, everybody wants to act. And, you know, it's, it's it, when I was trying to do music videos, I was like, eh, you got to pay me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But acting, you ain't got to give them nothing because it's right. acting. You know. Right. So they, everybody want to see themselves as a cop or 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 or. or, or Ho or, or right. just, like whatever you could do is acting. It's not real. So I want to see myself as motherfucking astronaut. I could do that shit because it's acting. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Anything. Right. So. Now I will ask temptation. I mean, how? I mean, is it a little hard? <laughs> and I don't want to get you in trouble because I heard you say something about a girl. I ain't gonna, but I'm just saying, like you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you know the the DMs be be active. So um, is it a little tough? You know what I'm saying? Just. Cause I always, I always wonder how like these these niggas be doing rap videos, having like sex scenes. Like nigga, you a local rapper? Like, yeah. How you pulling this shit off? <laughs> hey man. <laughs> Cause I did see a skit. Oh, hey look, look, I did see a skit about the threesome, right? And then the nigga was like, huh? What? And the nigga was running full speed My trying full to get our girl. Get that. And that, 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 that's the homie right there. She the homie, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but but. Couple girls, you know, I, I actually, you know, used to fuck with, talk to, or something like that, or you know, some shit did transpire. But them videos, man, be, when I first started, bro, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. It used to be shit where I used to be like, all right, that's the end of the scene, and motherfucker be like, okay, um, you gonna let me fuck now? Like, what? Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and, and that's how I used to be. But I learned that if you be more professional. That shit, it, 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 it's, it's easier. Like when I used to come on the girls, I remember I used to come on the girls like doing my skits and stuff like that. Right. And I used to be like, damn, like this bitch bad, you know what I'm saying? But when I started getting professional with that shit, bro, super fucking professional, everybody wanted to fuck with me after that. All the girls wanted to fuck with me after that. And I ain't talking about fuck with me, like hang out with me. Fuck me. Like right. they wanted right. to fuck with me. Like, cause I was so fucking professional, it was driving them crazy because every nigga tried to fuck. Right. Every it's a nigga, lot of power in. Mm -hmm. People yeah. don't realize that's a lot why, of I, that's power why I, in it. That's why I be so motherfucking professional now, bro. I be like, nope, nope, nope. And then do I do got a girl now, so right. you know what I'm saying? Her ass, she 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 pulls up, nigga. She pulls oh, the yeah. <laughs> She just created his party. Damn. She, she raided the nigga party, kicked the door down, got kicked out. How how does she deal with all? Because you know the average <laughs> look 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 the average man you know you know because we all in yeah. entertainment business right the average man get you know his girl gonna be you know kind of tripping about working with women so how does your significant other your your woman at she this be, time she be pissed with? the fuck off she be pissed off you know she the girl that was in the video with the threesome uh, oh the so that is see okay. yeah so okay. she be pissed the fuck off so uh she seen that a nigga started making. Five to six thousand dollars a month now. Six, you know what I'm saying? So now she like, you hoes need to do videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now she, yeah. <laughs> Come well, on. You hoes need to start doing some videos with my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So she get different when, that, get money different when that money start rolling in. And then she That's hit true. a she hit a tight spot this time. So I had to take care of everything. Right. So she was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, 
Yeah, yeah, them videos. Now you see. Now Niggas think lead, you get leeway when that money come in. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't give a damn what Absolutely. you say. Put the mic to you, man. You get leeway when that money come in. Nigga talking about you get leeway. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real though. Niggas is dick, so you get leeway. You broke and you, <laughs> hey, nah, okay, if you broke and you trying to fuck off, yeah. uh, it's all hell breaking loose. But money. when you got a bag, yeah. you got something that, you got a support line, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah. hell yeah, that shit. Money changes a lot of money shit, Money changes a lot. And I seen um, one of your newest skits, which is also funny, the Hulk skit. 2.2 million already in four weeks. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you you might, if I'm not mistaken, got to be the biggest YouTube comedian coming out of Dallas for sure. Yeah, right. hands down. Yeah, um, right. yeah, you're working your way into a whole different atmosphere when it comes yeah. to bags. Like, just just the marketing alone, I put, I'll put you in the video for this amount of price. And so does it, you knowing what you got going on right now and knowing like comedy is always going to be comedy, niggas are always going to fuck with that, like, what does that do for you? Does that make you like still want to fuck with boxing? Like knowing that you got this whole career path that's taken way off too. Some, some, sometimes, bro, I ain't gonna even lie, bro. I be like, fuck boxing. I, I be thinking that sometimes, bro. I be thinking that shit, bro. I really be thinking that shit, bro. But don't you hold a belt? You got a belt, but, right? But, but nah, 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 nah. Um, I want to fight for one though, pretty soon though. But man, yeah. I, I I be thinking like, fuck boxing. But I'm not finna. I'm not finna. I, I, six fights got turned down. Like you know. Over the year, I'm I've been an inactive. Like January, I fought January. What I fought February, I fought February. I ain't fought since February, and I ain't like that. I ain't been trained. I've been training my ass off every day, busting my ass, running every day. I don't know if y'all see my snaps. I run every damn day, train. I'm sparring with the fucking champion of the world, cause other niggas ain't sparring. I'm, I got to spar with the hardest fucking hitter at 147. Every fucking you know time that I get a chance, because ain't nobody else out here on even on my level. Or yeah, it's a few niggas out here, yeah. But I'm just saying. So I'm just really busting my ass and I don't get a fight or, you know, uh, this person say, oh, this fight canceled or that fight canceled. Bro, it's discouraging, bro. And it make me like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just stick with this comedy shit. But I know that I'm like one of the best fighters, bro. Like I know that like the way I see myself, bro, and I be seeing how I'm handling shit when I be in the ring, I know I'm one of the best fighters out here, bro. If right. not, could be in the world. I can capture a belt, bro. I know I could be, the, I know I can capture a belt. How is it training with, um, you know, He's a champion at this point, Errol Spence. Spence. Um, how is it training with him? Man, it's cool dude, man. I grew up with this dude, man. And you know, the crazy part about it is I like I tell him, he don't even know that he got me back into boxing. You know what I'm saying? I be telling him, but he don't pay attention. He just be like, he don't pay attention to that. But I quit boxing because of him. I quit boxing because he beat me in an amateur tournament. I said, man, forget this, man. I ain't finna fight no more. This shit whack. And then I started back boxing because he had a, he was getting ready to fight a left-handed guy. And I came to the gym and he was like, you doing some rounds? And I was like, nah, man, I just came today. He's like, ah. I was like, nigga, no, you know what I'm saying? What you trying to say, nigga? Y'all do some rounds. <laughs> so we started sparring. He was like, come back tomorrow. Sparred him again. Beat my ass. Come back tomorrow. Sparred him again. He beat my ass. Come back tomorrow. Come back to the, come back, come back. And I started getting like, it started getting better and better and better and better. You know what I'm saying? I'm hanging in there now. You know what I'm saying? You still kicking my ass, but I was doing good as fuck. I'm talking about so good, bro. The nigga hit me with a text like, bro, you one of the most talented niggas. You know what I'm saying? You ain't taking this shit serious, bro. He said, you in shape now. Don't let it go to waste. Damn. Go get a fight. I went and got a fight, and I started back fighting. That's exactly how I started back fighting. That's fight. dope, bro. That's exactly That's how dope. I started back fighting. Because of that nigga I quit, and because he... <laughs> I was supposed to be signing with him. <clears throat> Probably like... Whenever his company going to to play, yeah. I, I don't know if he even that's what he told me. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> man, that's dope, man. Y'all putting on for the city in a whole different way with the boxing. Y'all got niggas in Dallas going crazy. They headlining the events at uh, AT and T. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shout out Maurice Hooker too, man. People yeah, don't, but yeah, a lot yeah, of people, pa, 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 a lot of people don't give him the credit. But Maurice Hooker, one of them dudes too, man. Yeah. Uh, he champion, world champion. Yeah, Nobody act like they really even just know that yeah, nigga, yeah. nigga nice. Man, Triple D putting on, man, <laughs> putting on. So man, you, you got your skits, man. You, you're doing crazy, crazy, crazy amount of views, man. Like, what's the next thing? You know what I'm saying? Cause I seen a, I seen a lot. Well, I seen one of your, your posts where you were like, you can't limit me. Like, I guess people was hating and telling you you can't do certain shit, stay yeah, in the I lane, mean, fuck the lane. You could do whatever you do. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, you shoot. And, and by the way, you got some of the clearest fucking videos. <laughs> on the I got the same camera you got. <laughs> uh, uh, Panasonic GH5. GH5. Got the same camera. Hey, you working the shit out there, motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. I got the same uh, yeah, camera. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, definitely quality, man. Um, so are you, gotta, you gonna you gotta go? go you got to get online. It's this dude type in 
how to put your camera in the right settings, mm-hmm. you ain't got to copy him. All you got to do is he going to put a link up there. You copy his link, put it on your memory and card, put it. them import it, and yep. then he'll have his settings. And I got his settings on there. So I ain't doing shit. I just go straight to that nigga settings and shoot. Hey. But yeah, you killing it though, yeah. man, in, in all aspects, man. So like, um, where do you see yourself, you know, where do you see the brand, man? Like, like in the next year or so? Because I mean, you're, you're going up quick. You had 125,000 followers now. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're going to be at a million quickly. I can see that happening. Man, I, I, I always want to get back into boxing. But my whole thing is now I see boxing as like more of a um, business than it is like who's talented. A long right. time ago, it was about like you talented and you champion. It's more of a business now. You got people like, Ryan Garcia and stuff like that, that just hit the punch and speed bag and get a million subscribers and a million followers and stuff. You know, it's it's not really about how good you are anymore. So I told him, I seen this, what, these YouTubers, Logan Paul and KSI. These niggas made millions of dollars fighting each other in headgear. They not even boxers. They make more, they made more money than actual champion boxers before. You know what I'm saying? So I told myself, man, if I build my name up and I just get a big fight, fuck it. I do that, you know? Because it's all about how big your name is now. If right. I had a million, two, three million subscribers, two million followers on Instagram, they're like, they're like four or five million on Twitter and all this other stuff, and I just say, hey, I mean, I want to fight Earl Spence Jr. That's a, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. it, it's a big ass fight because now my name is up there, which I would never fight my bro, but I'm just saying, it, your name is up there. So people want to see it just because your name up there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how it is now. So that's that's, what, that's what I'm looking to do, like if, if this shit don't go according, you know? Man, you got a lot of avenues, man. <laughs> Would you ever jump back in the rap shit? Yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, here, yeah. Like Roy Jones Jr.? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but see, if I, it, And then you start getting knocked with, out after you start doing it. <laughs> with, with, with the type of yeah. style I had, though, bro, people just couldn't. People just couldn't, like, fuck with it out here in the D. I had to really, like, like go back and, like, reevaluate it and stuff like that. It was just, it, like... I felt like I was too lyrical. Well, bro, you already you got a YouTube channel at this point. You could do whatever. Yeah, I could do whatever now. now. Like I could go on that bitch and do an ABC song, and it probably pop. You know what I'm saying? Like I could do do whatever now. Hey, yeah. Now let me ask you this, man. Is Offset doing too much, man? Who? Offset. Nah, 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 nah. (laughs) Bro, it's like this, bro. The Bible say for better or for worse, bro. You know what I'm saying? So he cheated. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B, uh, Cardi B ain't finna lead a nigga. She trying to make a stand because she got fans. She can't just go right back to him because that's going to show little kids. Oh, you, uh, she got people looking at him. Wait, come on now. You know she ain't finna leave. Uh, she already made a video talking about, he my baby daddy. She's right. never going to leave a dude. Right. She, well, she's never going to leave a dude. I just don't like the, the apologizing online type shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like, like, like no, nah, I, I see. Like, but it's, I, I don't know. Like, it's, it's, they it's public too, figures. It's tough, bro. I know what you're saying. It's like they want you to embarrass yourself. <laughs> right. To... Think that it's real, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, if I, just because yeah. I do it online, you think it's real? Yeah. You right. know how many times Cardi probably got cheated on by regular niggas before she was in this marriage, and she probably went back. Yeah. yeah but, that's what I'm but, but, but it's just the whole fact that he this person and he that person. I heard he ain't fuck, so he ain't really cheat. Man. He entertained the shit. What nigga ain't gonna entertain? But on the on the cool though, like I told, like I I left a post on the thing. I said, man, Cardi look like the type that'll let a nigga have another chick. Like, right. like, baby, let me. Right. Like, yeah. like, like, you know what I'm saying? She looks like she's cheating for us. He doing it. <laughs> Why, nigga? Yeah, he wilding on that one. Why? Like, yeah, you cheating. You can tell Sign Offset that way before a motherfucker yeah. and go fuck this girl. girl. What the fuck are you doing, man? You cheating. What, what's the most you ever did to get a girl back? Man, I, I, I ain't saying the most I did. <laughs> you, better, <laughs> <laughs> you better not say that on live. <laughs> We going by the opposite. Say, hey, nigga, look, and you say that because you was on top. Oh, of he finna find this nigga. Look, oh, he can't wait. I'm gonna fuck him up. Oh, okay. If he do that, I'm gonna fuck look, him up. Look, fuck it, let's go. Camera. Let's go. Oh yeah, we yeah. I got my popcorn ready on this shit. Hey, this nigga here. Hey, don't be dumb. I'm gonna fuck you up on camera. And I'm gonna get Charlie for even being with me. Hey, this nigga in the back like say, I got shit to do. Let me see. That's the most. That's the most I ever did to get a girl back. God. All right, let, let's take the subject. Look, what's the most you'll ever do? Like, what, how far would you take it? If I cheated or if, if you I cheated, did. if you was dead ass in the room, see, and your girl see, was and that, your girl was bossed up. But see, with that, you can't say what the most we'll do because it ain't about what we'll do. It's about what they want us to do. Girl, want you do what they want you to do to make them feel like okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's like, check the room. We got a woman in the room. What did you say? What do you say? Is that true? But, but will I, it be up I to concur. you? What would I have to do? Right? I concur. Yeah. Okay. See, it, it don't matter what we do. Like, 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 would you knock a, a nigga girl, out and be like, baby, take me back? Nah. 
first I see if she want, if she listen like any calls anything if she if she listen to anything I know it's I'm still there you know what I'm saying like but if she ain't listening to nothing I'm getting avoided I'm blocked on everything you know what I'm saying you might as well just nah, go ahead they, they, still, they just still listen and still like nah he, he but ain't you know too when a girl done with you. I had a girl I had a girl bro I don't God I had a girl take me out just when I was sh- like man I used to be like this is how I used to do my interviews. Yo, fool, like, you know what I'm saying, fool, you know what I'm saying, fool. Like, I didn't know how to talk, bro, you know what I'm saying? Right. I, like, I, I came from Village Oak, so, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we I, I don't know how to talk, bro, you know what I'm saying? I used to do crazy-ass interviews like that, bro. I, right. I met this girl, bro. She was so fucking proper, bro, and so fucking intelligent, bro. She liked me because I didn't know nothing, so it was cute to her, you know what I'm saying? So, she took me out one day. She took me out for sushi. This true story. Took me out for sushi. She valet parked. When the nigga got in her car, I said, what are you doing? I didn't know what valet parking was. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, what are you doing? She's like, oh, he's valeting. Like, she thought everything was cute. She took me out. We ate and all this other shit. Nigga, I'm starting eating, right? Yeah. I could barely eat, though. She looked at me. And she said, I don't, uh, everything was good, but I don't date a nigga that can't eat. This girl never talked. She blocked, like, she never talked to me again, bro. You know when the motherfucker ain't finna talk to you no more. She never talked to me again in my whole entire life. I just remember her name was Natalie. Hopefully she, <laughs> hopefully she see this shit. Hopefully she see this shit and be like, oh yeah, I remember that shit, bro. She, she never talked to me. She never talked to me again. So not being able to talk wasn't the thing that did it was eating. I couldn't right. finish my Ooh. meal. She said, oh my nigga got. Oh she cut you in the middle of the meal. She said, I, I, she, the bill was so high. I remember the bill was like two something, bro. She paid for it and everything. <laughs> And then she said, I never had sushi before. I was like, this shit's disgusting. Like, we yeah. eat noodles and shit, right? <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, and she was like, oh, nah, I can't date a nigga that can't eat. I cook. And I do a lot of stuff. I can't date a nigga that can't eat. She never talked to me again, bro. And I felt that she was never going to talk to me again. Like, I knew. I'm like, damn, let me go see, get some. If a girl do that to me, I wouldn't even want to talk to her. But right. getting rid of me over that. That's like, you know what I'm saying? I want some closure. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's, yeah, that's <laughs> <some> <laughs> right. That's one of them. I want to look at me. Look at me now, bitch. That's one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I want some closure now. Why you waste my time? Type shit. Look. <laughs> there is no closure, yeah, man. That's it. Yeah, that's niggas yeah. just niggas just move on. <laughs> <laughs> niggas just be I I, can, I but I can't honestly think of nothing that I'd do to get a girl back, bro. I like Now tell him what you have done to get a girl back. Yeah. Oh, well, this I nigga finna put chapter. Did you want to put mine out? I'll just yeah, put yours out. Huh? Nigga. This, nigga, this nigga got a fat ass tongue. He's, it's that nigga said. Hey, blah, blah, blah. That nigga said. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't not saying what we did. It's sucking and sucking fast. Tell what you did, yo. I don't know. I can't I'm saying it. just tell him what you know that you did. Get a girl, man. I don't know what I did, fool. This all good, bro. Oh, God, Say half of it, then I'm gonna cut y'all. If it's too good, scooch it. I'm gonna say, stop! Stop, 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 um, yeah, I, I guest star on everything, but I want to I want to be my own brand. Right. So that's why I wouldn't really just get on somebody's stuff because then they'll know me for this. So right. know I mean? but I want to be my own person. You know, right. I want everybody to say marvelous jobs. You know, you know this, right. and hopefully whoever around me, and if they start working with me, they branch off and do their own thing. You right. know, and become this person. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good person to branch off of. You know, right. do it, then become my own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't want to. At this rate, would you work with uh bring up more like under like comedians under you? Like would you Man, start I got that? A or? lot of little kids right now. Like, and I can't I'd be really gonna say, nigga, you 13 years will be watching my video. But I got a lot of little kids that be inboxing me every day saying how inspired they are to be a comedian and they love me. I had one girl cry when I hit hundred K. She was like, ah, my, Real fan. My, my favorite comedian. I was like, girl, y'all, you doing a little too much now. <laughs> you know, like, but like, I got a lot of people saying that they like really want to be a comedian now. And I'm like, dang, I had some people say that they was going to, like, I had a person this morning call me. My, dang, I don't even want to say that shit. Fuck it. My number is listed on my page. If you go, you could click call and my phone will ring. Nigga called me and said, man. I was trying to kill myself today, and I watched one of your videos and bust out laughing. I got that call today. I was like, damn. And I had that call before, not like kill myself. He was like, I was going to fuck somebody up. But I looked at your videos and bust out laughing. I'm like, damn, I'm glad. What you- video did they watch? The whole video? 
<laughs> exactly. I just, I, he said, I was mad when these videos popped up. I looked at it and I just said, and it just went away. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, shoot. That's gotta laugh, cool. hey, you gotta laugh every day. That's yeah, what I want to do it for. That's that's the only reason why I really do this. If I look, I looked at one of them things and he said, man, when you when you want to do something where you ain't got to get paid to do it, it was like one of the while back where that dude was like, you want it when you can't breathe. When I put that in my mind, I wanted this as much as I wanted to breathe, bro. That was true, bro. It really started happening for me, bro. And then, and then, like I told him the other day, when I started praying, that's when stuff started happening. I wasn't praying, bro. I wasn't doing nothing. It's like I lost touch with God. And then I just said, man, let me start back praying. Let me start back praying. I start being thankful for anything, bro. If I got some hood out shoes, thank you that I got some shoes that I ain't out here touching the cement, you know? And I just said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day, just constantly saying, thank you, God. Thank you, God. In my head. And stuff started, and stuff started like really just like he started showing me stuff and start, start giving me stuff like that, and I was just like, man, that's a blessing, bro. Going back to like all the kids <laughs> inboxing you, would you ever consider doing like a children's like camp for comedians? I wanna, oh, uh, what you mean, like, like camp for the kids for like as far as doing a comedy? Oh yeah, yeah, camp yeah, yeah, yeah. We we for, we got we got this thing going. Kids for uh, well, fathers. They really more of a fathers thing. Getting getting fathers uh. More involved with their kids. More involved with their kids. We got a, uh, it's called uh, Fathers and Kids Sunday we doing. That's so uh, on yeah, Sunday, so we take the kids somewhere different every Sunday. We, we just started this last, this previous Sunday yeah, we was just, our we just uh, did first one. one we did. We just did one. It wasn't a big turnout, but it was just the first one, you know? You plant the seed. So, yeah, so, you just gotta, you gotta start from somewhere. So we just, so. Having, we just having all our partners come out with their kids, kids and stuff so they could be a part of their uh, kids, kids life, life or, just get more involved yeah. in it because you see a lot of parents and fathers out here. Because even I had some, kids even life. I had some situations where I, I wasn't seeing <clears throat> my kids as much as I wanted to, and I need to get to. So I was like, man, this is perfect, bro. You know what I'm saying? This, this the, is perfect. The reason why I said that because um, you know kids say the darnest things, and it's like if you had like which that by, by the way that's really good. Like if you had like some type of comedy camp, like the kids who are aspiring to be comedians, and you're yes. helping them out. They could say, and you doing like skits around that would be. They say some of the funniest shit. You know what I mean? I I, I would want to sponsor something like that, but I wouldn't at the same time because you can't teach somebody how to be funny. You get what I'm saying? But if it was boxing, oh yeah, I'm I, I'm I'm definitely want to be a coach. I definitely want to train little kids. I love trying. Like I be I be waiting for his little boy to grow. I'm waiting on my little boy to grow. I'm waiting on like whoever whoever bring me their kids. I'm training them. Like no. I want to train kids like bad. That's what I really want to do. Like when it's all said and done, I want to be marvelous, coach marvelous, you know. And I had a few fighters and stuff, but I just didn't have time for them and stuff. I know they felt like, man, like Jarvis, hey, messing with me, man. But I need to get myself together before I'm tired of going to this person's house to train you or, or going to this gym. And then like, I want to have my own gym, so it'll feel more comfortable. Um, would you uh, ever jump on the stage, take the show on the road, and do stand up? Stand up, yeah. If I write. If I write it, I can, I'm a great writer. I actually started writing some stuff out, but uh, I'm a great writer. When it comes to, I write everything. Like freestyle, oh, I'm right. getting booed right. off the rip. I, I'm getting booed. But if I sit down and I can and I write it out, oh yeah, I'm good. I'm, right. I'm good. But you put me on stage, you right now and say, hey, Jobs, do some jokes right now. Y'all gonna be thinking like, how is this nigga getting views? Because <laughs> this nigga is not funny. Like, yeah. no, nah, I can't do nothing when it comes off the top of yeah, my head. Bro. Right. But when I write, I sit there, I write a whole funny show out. Funny. That's what's up, man. So, man, plug, man, before we got in here, man, tell them anything that you got coming up, uh, your rap album, your your boxing day, anything that you got coming up, because I know you do a lot of stuff. Uh, all I got now up is uh, coming up right now is just like doing just steady, doing these comedy skits, and uh, hopefully I'm going to try to see if I can get on that uh, that uh, undercard with Earl. We gonna, I'm going to try to talk to him about that. You know, he actually asked me to fight on the last card, but I, had, I wasn't training. But he said that nigga, you was fighting a four rounder. You should have fought. I was like, yeah, true that. True that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True we look that. forward to that. So Watch if that. I can get on the on this, uh, what do you fight? What? That's the AT&T Stadium too. If I can get on this, I don't even give a damn phone get TV time. Just be out there just to fight in front of everybody like that. You know, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. So I, hopefully I can get that. And, what song you gonna come out to? Um. Uh, I came out to one of my own songs too, man. Hold on, right. I did. That's Look, have to be that. I don't really care. Nah, nah. I came out to my boxing song. It, it's uh. Hold on. That nigga, hold on. That nigga hold on. hold the trap. Uh, that nigga called it. Hold on, hold on. I had a boxing song. It, hold on, I got a boxing song. It's like, hold on. 
When I, when I lace up my gloves and put on my boxing shoes Then look across the ring at the opposite dude I can't lose through the pain, broken bones, blood, sweat And my heart bruised I just look at it as a war wound And battle scars just mean I've been through tough feuds I can't lose This is why I train, fool Look what it came to To be the best, you gotta beat the best And pay dues, I can't lose I come back to my own <laughs> shit My shit was dope, nigga yeah. Yeah. Hey, I see why you pray every night you like, God, <laughs> please, just keep keep giving me this talent, yeah. Lord <laughs> My shit was dope, nigga I come out to we my own shit That's the only thing I'm missing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you produce? I'm nah. about to say this nigga do it all, man. <laughs> I do music videos. I yeah. used to. I, I like I was the first nigga to do that shit in the hood. Like like yeah. first nigga I was shooting in the hood. Yeah. I, Corey Shrugs. I I was the first nigga to ever do his shit. Yeah. Uh, Earl, uh, not Earl, uh uh Freddie, the first nigga to ever all them niggas on that side. First nigga. Like That's what's up, man. And that's what I started that and that's how I started getting in front of the camera. Because I was shooting them damn videos. What's up, man? Marvelous J, man. You killing shit. Keep killing shit. <clears throat> you are a real-life street star, man. Yeah, appreciate y'all having me, man. Shout out everybody, anybody I miss. Already. Shout out real-life street stars, nigga. Move. Hey.